Obtaining a plot of land in Final Fantasy XIV can be kind of difficult. However, you can start small by purchasing an apartment. Now, you can only own one of these at a time, but they offer a chocobo stable and can hold up to 100 furnishings. Similar to other housing, you can also teleport right to your apartment complex, and there will always be a summoning bell and marker board close by outside. And inside the lobby, you'll find a delivery moogle and mender too. Best of all, apartments don't have upkeep, so once you buy one, it's yours forever until you want a different one. With that all said, before you can even purchase an apartment, you'll first need to be level 50 and obtain the rank of second lieutenant in your grand company. I'm now going to spend about 30 seconds explaining how to get this rank for those who don't know. So, start off by joining a grand company you like. Then, to rank up, you'll need to give company seals to your company's personnel officer. Furthermore, to break through to certain ranks, you'll eventually need to complete the first two company hunting logs. Luckily for us, these logs give company seals, and so do fates. So by the time you finish the first two logs and a few fates, you should have enough seals to reach the necessary rank. Though, just be careful and make sure to return to town and spend your seals on rank ups before you overcap. Throughout this process, you'll also have to do a few blue side quests from your grand company's commander, and after that's all done, you'll be able to rank up to second lieutenant. Getting back to the apartments, there's an apartment building in every residential district, and they have an aether shard tied to them too. In each of their lobbies, you'll be able to purchase an apartment from the apartment caretaker for 500,000 gil. However, you may have to do some ward or district hopping before you can find a vacancy as there's only 90 apartments per building. But don't let that discourage you because there's a complex in every ward and subdivision, leading to thousands of apartments per server. So it's not too hard to find one, but you just may not find one right away. Anyways, apartments work pretty much the same way the rest of housing does, and they can hold up to 100 furnishings, which can include flower pots, orchestrion, armoire, crystal bell, summoner bell, and certain NPCs. However, do keep in mind that furnishing an apartment will bind all items used to you, and you will not be able to resell them later. At this point, we are basically done going over apartments, so if you just came here to figure out how to unlock it or purchase one, you're all set. However, I'm going to spend the rest of this video going over some housing basics for those who have never furnished in this game before. So, starting out, if you need furniture, the apartment merchant in the lobby has a lot for sale, and for pretty cheap too. Once you have some stuff to place down, head over to your apartment, and then open up the housing menu, which is under social. This will then have various options for you to mess with, most of which are very straightforward. What you'll mostly want to focus on is the top option, indoor furnishings. And from here, to start placing, it's as simple as clicking and dragging a housing item from your inventory or right-clicking and selecting place. Then use the bottom icons to edit your placements. From left to right, there's move, rotate, store to inventory, and then store to housing storage. There's then a few smaller options to the right. The bottom ones will snap items to a grid, and the top one allows you to place objects on top of other objects, like papers on top of a desk. All in all, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But to put it simply, first select the icon corresponding to the action you want to perform on an object. Then select that object by clicking on it. At this point, if you want to move an object, it will move with your cursor. And if you want to rotate it, you'll have to click and spin or drag the arrows below it. Though whatever you're doing, make sure to left click after making your changes to then lock them in. The last thing I'd like to go over now is the furnishings menu. The first main tab is what's currently placed and the second is a separate 100 slot storage for housing items. And you'll be able to store items here by right clicking and choosing store on items either in your inventory or in the currently placed tab. As alluded to before, you can also store placed items with the icons at the bottom too. In general though, the takeaway from this menu is that it shows how much items you currently have stored and placed and that you can store and place stuff right from here too. And that's about it for apartments. I personally think they're great for a variety of players because not everyone can get a house, and not everyone's part of an FC, and not all FCs even have housing, and not everyone wants to be tied to a private chamber FC room even if they have the option. And on top of all of that, you can actually say the apartment is 100% yours and you never have to worry about it expiring. So with that all said, let me know what apartments you like the most, and until next time, take care.